Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm on this rooftop today to install a licensed 23 gigahertz microwave link. Behind me, about three kilometers away, there's a gray tower next to some uh, smokestacks and a water tank. On that site is uh, my installation crew where they've installed a, a radio. Uh, they've powered it up, they've configured it, and they've aligned it to this location. The received signal at this site is 23.3 gigahertz. My target RSL is about negative 45 dBm. Unfortunately, my installers didn't tell me what polarity that we're installing the link on today. Uh, so I'm gonna use this brand new uh, kit from SAF Technica called Spectrum Compact. Inside of this leather pouch is the Spectrum Compact unit itself. This model operates between 17 gigahertz and 24.3 gigahertz. Also inside the kit, is this ruggedized SMA cable. As I attach this, uh, one of the nice things about this cable is they added these metal bands around the connectors to make it very easy in the field to uh, attach to the unit. Now to determine the polarity, I'm going to use this waveguide adapter. This is a 23 gigahertz model. Uh, it's got the SMA connector, the, the quick thumb screws for the attachment to the antenna, but it's also got this rectangular waveguide flange, so I can I can use it as a as a low gain antenna to determine polar, uh, the polarity of the signal coming this direction. Right now, as it's configured like this, this would be uh, vertical polarization, and if I simply rotate it, that gives me horizontal polarization. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the cable. And then after I do that, I'll go ahead and configure the Spectrum Compact unit. Now on the top of the unit is the power button. This is an instant on unit, so you can see it's already powered up and ready to go. Uh, now it does have a, a beautiful color screen. Unfortunately, it's a bright sunny day, so it's a little bit difficult for me to read. So I'll go ahead and switch it to high contrast to make it very easy to read. Next, I'll go ahead and program the frequency, which is uh, said 23, 23, 300. We'll go ahead and put that in there. Next, we'll adjust the span or the resolution that it's, uh, it's looking at. Right now, it's scanning a, a complete 2 gigahertz of spectrum. But we want to go ahead and adjust that down to 100 megahertz, centered on our 23.3 on our gigahertz, uh, for a very or a much quicker resolution while we're doing this adjustment. So now I'm going to go ahead and hold this up. I'm going to start in horizontal polarity and point it towards the tower. As you can see, I've got no signal. But if I go ahead and rotate it to vertical polarity, we're now receiving the signal at about negative 90 dBm. And while that's it's very weak compared to what my target RSL is, I now know two things. I know the other, the other radio is transmitting, and I also know that it's in vertical polarization. Uh, the great thing is that this unit has a noise floor of negative 105 dBm, so even if this link was 20 or even 30 kilometers away, I would still be able to pick up the signal with this method. So let's go ahead and go over to the antenna, which fortunately has been, uh, it comes out of the box in vertical polarization. And I'll go ahead and attach this unit to the antenna. All right, now we need to do some uh, basic configuration of the unit before we get started. What I'll do is I'll, I'll go to trace mode. I'll use this feature called max hold. Now what max hold adds to the graph is a blue line. And that blue line represents the strongest spectrum compact unit has seen the signal along this 100 megahertz span while we've been doing an alignment. Next I'll go ahead and loosen up the antenna and adjust the horizontal polarity. So now as I go ahead and move the antenna, this is slowly sweeping, I can go ahead and see the strength of the signal. We can see there we've hit the main lobe. We'll go ahead and sweep all the way through. Now you can see it dancing up and down and that's showing you these side lobes. And we'll go ahead and bring it back. It comes up and it comes down comes up, 
and it goes back down again. And those were two side lobes that we just saw. And go ahead and bring it all the way up over. We're now at our main lobe. So I can now tighten the unit for the, uh, for the azimuth adjustment. And now we can go ahead and switch to the vertical adjustment. The great thing about this unit, because of the visual representation of the main lobe, is that the side lobes are very easy to see. The most common mistake during alignment, of course, is adjust or aligning to, the, uh, to a side lobe. And this unit really helps you determine if you're on a side lobe or a main lobe very quickly. So now I'll go ahead and start adjusting the vertical. We can see our units, uh, we can see we've already kind of gone through a, a side lobe. I'm going to go ahead and go to the other direction now. I'll go ahead and see what I can, uh, I can get the other way. Now it looks like we're going, we're getting closer to that main lobe. And we can see now we're starting to go past that main lobe. So now I can go ahead and adjust back to the main lobe. We'll go ahead and tighten down the antenna. Then the next thing we can go ahead and do is disable the max hold feature and select this power in band feature. Now the power in band feature will tell me what RSL I'm actually receiving uh, at the Spectrum Compact unit. First I have to configure the channel width of 40 megahertz and then we'll select set to center and that will show you the, the region that my max hold is on. This is also a good indication to show you that the radio is transmitting in a 40 megahertz wide channel very visually. And I said my target RSL was negative 45 dBm. As we can see, we're right there at negative 45 dBm. So I've got this, uh, this link perfectly aligned. Now the next thing I can do with this is I can also hit the save button. And it will save this screen for further analysis. So not only to be able to show that the radio is transmitting a 40 megahertz wide channel, but also that I was able to hit my target RSL. And with that, I've been able now to complete an alignment very quickly within five minutes. And those five minutes instead of one hour doing the alignment with the multimeter trying to figure out which polarity am I in, uh, and also being able to install this link or align this link without the radio transmitter present has greatly sped up the process to commission this link and get it online. So that means I can get to the pub and drink my beer that much quicker. Thank you.